Hello T friends, we are back. Technically today's number 21. I am brewing the Roybus Nutcracker from Adagio. Roybus tea, apple pieces, cacao nibs, natural caramel flavoring, marigold flowers, natural hazelnut flavor, blue corn flowers, and natural chestnut flavor. This is a decaf tea. The smell of the material, oh, it's heavenly. It has that chestnut vibe with the Roybus base. The Roybus Nutcracker is in my Grinch cup here. Oh. Now I realize I always have like a response with noise. Um, but this is good. This is good. Um, if you like rooibos, I love rooibos. I could just straight, I can drink straight up rooibos at any moment. I love rooibos and this is a solid tea. I mean, it is beautiful. Um, has a nice strong rooibos base, but there is like that chestnut, there's that chestnut note. Um, it's warming, it's cinnamony, which is interesting. There's no cinnamon in it, but I get a little bit of cinnamon. Um, has like a caramel vibe. This is good. This is good. I like decaf teas at night and then I slowly get into de and then I slowly get into caffeinated teas and then back to decaf teas. It's very weird, my process. So I hope to have a couple more teas tonight and uh, to discuss those, but until then, I'll see you at the next one. Cheers. So I wanted to share a couple teas I picked up today. This is a pumpkin spice tea from Charbrew. Comes in a nice little bottle here. It's a uh, vacuum sealed. I was not expecting it to smell this way. How it smells is like dish soap. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't know how else to explain it. Black tea, pumpkin pieces, ginger, cinnamon, clove, carrot liquid. I'm gonna try it regardless, but um, pumpkin spice that smells like soap. Then I found some raspberry truffle from Pinky Up. This is a tea company I've heard about, but haven't tried, but been curious about. This was um, $4.99 a 10, and I figured that's a lot of tea. 3.2 ounces of tea for five bucks is a pretty good deal, and I couldn't help but to smell the aroma of it without even opening the tin. Uh, this is yerba mate, elderberry, white chocolate pieces, almond, strawberry leaves, blueberry, raspberry, and natural and artificial flavoring, plus stevia extract. Like, oh, it smells so good, it smells so good. There it is. It smells, it smells like a dessert. It has has that like really strong yerba mate, but also has uh, like a raspberry chocolatey vibe. Oh, it smells so good. There was another one I got from Pinky Up, the Hibiscus Rose Hip, also $4.99. Oh, this one smells so good. It's like spicy. This one has organic hibiscus, apple, rose hip, allspice, organic elderflower, and natural flavoring. Just smells so good. Look how fun that is. Mm. Welcome to day 22. I am drinking the peanut butter brownie from David's Tea. This is a black tea, apple, cacao husk, chocolate chip, cacao bean, brittle, natural, peanut butter, sweet blackberry leaf, peanut chocolate flavoring. I have a brewing in my Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas Mug. So day number 22, we're gonna start with David's Tea since we already have it here. Tinsel Toddy. Oh, this peanut butter brownie is on my list. I'm gonna keep this one aside, see if David's tea has it. Really good, like nine out of 10 good. Well, it's an even day. It's day number 22. So that means the day 11. It's one of those teas that are in a little packet. Feels like it might be a white tea by the square shape of it. And the Adagio, bam. I'm not gonna lie, I've been hoping that this would find itself in the box, Candy King. And the one we fell behind the most. 
for Bird and Blend, day number 22. Salted Caramel Lip Kuchen. I will catch you on another tea review or day number 23. We'll see. Just depends on how life goes. Until then, see you at the next one. Cheers. Hello, friends. It is December 27th, a couple days after Christmas. I know I'm getting late on posting videos, but... Um, with the change of work schedule and spending time with family, I, I didn't have the chance to sit down and drink all the teas and talk about teas this year. Unfortunately, I fell behind, so I do apologize for that. I drank the Christmas tea from Adagio on Christmas as uh, it seemed necessary. This one was really good. It had a nice spice, citrusy vibe to it. Um, the clove... The black tea and the orange flavoring played very well. I really enjoy this one. I noted that this one was uh, a seven out of 10. Currently in my cup, I am drinking the gingerbread. This is a black tea with natural gingerbread flavoring, cinnamon, orange, ginger, and it is high caffeinated. Um, this one's really nice. I actually left the tea bag in there. Um, it's very nice. It, 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 you don't get a lot of that black tea base. It has almost like a, like a, a like a creamy aspect to it. It has a thick mouthfeel. Um, it has that desserty um, ginger flavor, um, like a sweet gingerbread molasses kind of vibe to it. It's very nice, very enjoyable. Um, I wish I had a little bit more so that it would be a little stronger, but overall it's a pretty good tea. Um, this one's like a 7 out of 10. I'm looking forward to all the teas we're going to have in 2024. I hope you all have a fantastic and safe holiday weekend. Uh, by the time this will be posted, we will be after Christmas moving into the new year. And uh, I hope you're all safe and have plenty of good cups of tea and enjoy your time with family and friends. But until then, feel free to drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, happy sipping. Cheers.